Hi you guys. Um, yeah, so you got the first print out of the way. I'm just slightly off centre here, and it just makes me feel a bit. I should be here. Um, so yeah, we've got the first video off um, of these kind of these uh, Gorgon inspired um, mono prints. Uh, we had a look into doing some of the, uh, the do, 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 tin foil or aluminium foil, using that as a plate or a, a means to kind of um, transfer an image onto onto a piece of paper. Um, that's a like a definite kind of mono print. You can use the same techniques and the same styles, but um, they are going to be uh, slightly different. Even if you're using the same image, um, it's just the kind of way how the the ink lies on the on the paper and how it's kind of spread and just little touches where you've used the um or place your hand on the on the foil on the other side. So that's just to say not not to say that's a bad thing. Um, it just means everyone's more unique. Um, so this one we're going to be going on is going to be the um, tin, no, that's cling film, cling film, we'll get it right. So we've got the cling film for this one. Um, obviously these, this wouldn't be available in, a, in a way back when, um, but what we're going to do is, what's quite good about cling film is that it's, it sticks to itself really quite well. Um, so we're able to make a kind of a textured plate, which can be used one or two more times. Um, the colours might be a little bit different when you when you spread it on, but you can make a better depth of field of um of of your kind of your print. So I think probably by the best idea we'll go on maybe a landscape looking view for this one, um just so you can get a kind of depth of field of having something close uh, in the foreground right next to you, and then as it works back uh, in the sky, you can kind of you can see the depth of field. Uh, as I'll keep saying the depth of field throughout this probably. Count how many times you say it, it'll be a prize. Um, so yeah, what we need for this is we need some cling film. We need some, some tape, um, any tape will do, but if you're gonna be using uh, masking tape, it's a bit easier to peel off and it might not kind of leave um, leave a mark on the paper. No, no, it's not necessary because you're printing on top of that. So any type of tape will do. I might go and get some stronger tape. Uh, with some different textures on, so that might be a bit uh, a bit more fun to experiment with. Um, you need some paper just to keep printing off. Um, and I've used, I'm going to be using just a bit of really thick kind of sketchbook paper when it's the kind of fine line between um, between paper and card. Uh, probably the thicker the better for this one, but uh, you can use use kind of thicker paper. Um, I wouldn't use cartridge paper because it will just kind of it will crumple and you might not you might get a better effect. You don't know, but and uh, for the purpose of this one, we're going to be sticking off and building or sticking down the uh, the cling film and uh, kind of building the, the image up and um, using it. I think we're going to use different colours as well for this one, maybe maybe so it's not black and white like the last one. So um, if you missed the first one, there's a, there'll be a link on the forum and there'll be a link on the um, kind of further up the Facebook group or it'll be on this this um, this channel. Uh, so yeah, grab your stuff. You obviously need some ink, your rollers, um, a paintbrush maybe, and the other things that I mentioned. So I'll do the same thing. I'll angle the camera down, make sure you get your cup of teas, obviously. And um, yeah, we'll get printed, okay? Uh, catch us in a couple of seconds, minutes, however long it takes for me to angle the camera down. So I'll see you in seconds in this. Right, catch us in a sec, guys. Okay, guys, so um, first kind of angle down, what we're going to do, I'll be slouching for a bit while I, while I kind of talk it through. Um, we're going to make the plate. We don't have to worry about inking up too much first of all, um, because we're going to kind of play around with some of the textures that you can get with the, uh, with the cling film. So what I would advise to do first is you're going to, um, you can be quite liberal with the, with the, uh, the, <laughs> I'm stuck on my jacket uh, with a cling film. Okay, so what I do is I put a line at the top and then pin it down just with a bit of tape and um, just to kind of secure it onto your, your surface so you're going to make a plate from it. Um, I might have to do it in a couple of shifts. Do 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 do. Two inches, three inches too short. Um, okay, so the top's down. So what I do is I then do the sides, but leaving a little bit of room at the bottom. Um, you don't want it to be tight, otherwise you're not gonna get much of a texture. So keep it attached to your roll. 
and maybe halfway down each side to the left and the right just stick this down and then this gives you a bit of room to kind of build some textures without it being stuck down and then we'll stick it down towards the air uh, once we've got this first first bit so it will look a little something like like that okay now the great thing about it is that, like I said, it sticks to each other, okay? So you, what you can do is you can start to form a kind of um, some textures just using this, okay? And I'm probably going to leave quite a bit there, but tear this off so I can start sticking this down, okay? So I'm going to have like a, in my mind's eye, kind of rice fields -y kind of um, texture to a kind of hill coming down so it's in layers um, and getting thicker and thicker as I come down. For, and by, by what I mean by getting thicker and thicker is it comes more and more off the off the paper. Okay. So once you've got the first bit down you can stick that connecting all the little bits Onto, onto the paper or your mount board or whatever you're using. So as he's made this, as he and third person as made a style, you can see it's kind of got a bit of a texture to it. So this is going to be our printing surface. Okay. So what you can do is since we've got our little hill there, you can use this because it'll stick onto each other pretty really well. Um, just to kind of build up the image, so just tearing little bits off at a time. Maybe have a thicker part to the top there. Maybe, I feel like Bob Ross when I want to say this, maybe a nice feel, a nice, uh, nice hill in the foreground overlapping. Um, so, and put a little tree there, a little tree friend. Don't worry about coming off over the sides because what you can do is at the final stage we'll stick this down once more so we've got the frame uh, of your registration of your paper and um, I think fortunately this is going to be about the size pretty much exactly of my paper so if you want to put your um, your your kind of tape round around the size of the paper that's that's completely fine that just means it'll register a little bit better okay um, so yeah so we've got a bit of a, I wonder if this is going to be a, a mountain scape or a seascape. We'll stick a little tree in the middle there just to kind of give it some some more texture. And yeah, you're just adding on to this and as you can see as I'm sticking it, it's not falling off because it's sticking on itself. So keep building this up um, and yeah, we'll get ready to print. Okay, so I'll probably speed this up or maybe chat while I'm doing it. Um, hmm, hmm. We'll see. Um, actually, yeah, we'll carry on. We'll carry on chatting as I'm going through this. So you can use kind of just by scrumpling it together. This is going to be the top of the tree. Maybe like a, a big bushy, bushy apple tree. Um, let's have maybe a little tiny house in the distance. So that's just going to use, scrumble it up as an outline. Maybe make a kind of square, or a house shape. Um, again, just layering and texturing it with, with the cling film. And this will be slightly more abstract than the last one we did, but um, still quite, you can, you'll be able to visually see what, what's going on. The later one, the, uh, the, the big and parchment or big and paper one will do, that'll probably be a bit more, a lot more abstract. So just keep building this up, keep building this texture up, um, and then we'll get to printing, okay?
So I'll catch you soonish and I'll show you what I'm going to have before I print, okay? Okay guys, so the last thing I'm gonna do is, um, I'm gonna show you what I've got, just so if you can kind of contextualize it. It's just a kind of a simple landscape-esque thing. Um, obviously have an experiment yourself, we'll see how it works. Uh, but finally what I'm gonna do is, just cause I've got some bits either side that's hanging over, I'm just gonna cut in a little bit, just to tape this so it's as secure as possible. Um, and then this is the, time when you'll be um you will be registering it so you know exactly where your paper's gonna lie and for registering if you don't know what it is and uh, it just means that it's set in the same place every time you print so you register it it's it centers the um the print onto the paper and it's just a, it's a good little tool to a good way to make sure your prints are, are centered and level. Um, okay, so last little line. And there we have you. So that is our print start, okay? It doesn't look like much at the minute, but what we'll do is we'll get some color on there, we'll get some, um, we'll get some kind of some texture on there and some some and um, some color and some shading and hopefully it will come out beautifully okay so catch it in a sec we'll get our make sure you get a palette knife some colored inks and your uh ooh, your roller and kind of surface for you to, to put your ink on okay catch us in two secs guys um yeah bye nearly finished my cup of now Okay, so I know what I said I'm gonna uh, we're gonna add some color to it, but I kind of I had one of those epiphany moments just as I was kind of inking up, um, and we'll do a test run with the um, with the uh, with just a, as a one colored uh, because what you can do is you can you can build up the color so you'll set a 
like you would do with uh, with screen printing. You can set a green down or set one color down and then another color on top and it'll build it up and build it up and build it up. Uh, and you can add more texture as you go. So just for the example of showing what a single print with uh, an achromatic color would do, uh, we're gonna do that one first, print it off on our lovely sheet of paper um, and yeah, print that off. So what you wanted to do as always, um, we're gonna add a little bit of water to this. This um this inked up plate um just to thin it out thin it thin it thin it just to thin it out a bit um just so it can seep into all those little nooks and crannies and all the little um all the textures you've made with the with your cling film so um you don't want to add loads what I tend to do is I just have a little kind of little thing of water there and just kind of splash it onto the main body of the, the ink. And then that's, you, you can then start to cover your plate with it. It's also wise to have a scrap bit of paper just to, um, just to take the excess off. So here's one we made earlier. And let's see. Again, I'm going in one direction just so it kind of covers the full full Rolex. If you just go backwards and forwards, it's just going to cover a small strip, but you want the full Rolex to be covered in ink. So what you want to do now is you're just going to cover and you'll see the textures just kind of taking form. And more and more as you go. And you get this lovely crinkled effect, which is going to play part to our some of it's coming up a bit, but that's okay. Oh, that bit's not. Um, yeah. Huh. Here's me saying that's all going to stick down. Okay, so. Probably kick some more ink on there. So keep going until the full surface is covered. Again, using any form of, uh, you can use water-based inks or oil-based inks. Um, if you're using oil-based inks, don't use water to to break it up. Um, use oil, kitchen oil works, um, linseed if you've got it. And then cover this all up. With your... I've lost you. I've lost you. Okay. So that's good. Registering it nicely with the with the lines you made. And pulling off your print. A little bit more abstract, but there we can see our kind of cottagey number with maybe a rock in the foreground. Um, yeah, so that's that's the achromatic one. Uh, you can build on this, on this, um, which I will do, and then catch you in the next section in a sec. 
Okay, guys, I know I said that I was going to do some uh, some colour on this. I will, um, but I'm just I'm conscious that this is about 20 minutes long and it's a long time for you to sit in there and kind of and keep it keep the concentration going and keep for myself keep my concentration going. Um, so we've got our first kind of run of the print. Um, you can see the different textures that's kind of come off from it. It's okay to leave it at that. It's completely fine. Um, it's it's just kind of getting the folds and getting the creases of the the, uh, the cling film on to uh, as being inked up and then onto the uh, onto the print or onto the, the paper. Um, what I'll do is I'll finish off this video when we get a bit more natural light and uh, yeah we'll catch this up maybe tomorrow maybe um, whenever it's it's going to be done. So that's the first step. Uh, you've inked up your plate, you've stuck everything on, that is the plate. Um, we'll add some more textures and colours and layers to it and hopefully it'll look uh, a lot cooler as well. So uh, catch us um, catches in the next video, uh, which should be pretty soon. And yeah, once we get some light, we'll be good to go. Um, thanks for watching, and kind of see you on the next one. Bye.